na yambianga wewe sina deni na wewe enda kenye ni merima ni ya watoto yangu lakini sio ya <laughs> yanakuja kutafia watoto yake over the years Mary Njoroge has acquired the title of village heroine she is able to stand up to the elephants that invade their farms in the dark. Sasira inatokea inafamia kabisa inakula mashugwa yetu mai maofakando. It is a tale that residents here have told far too many times. The constant conflict with wild animals from neighboring conservancies. The elephants are notorious as here. Their population is the second largest in the country. At least 2,000 incidents of conflict are reported every year. <laughs> Jennifer Nasusui, a resident of Rumuruti, is now part of the statistics. She is forced to rely on a walking stick for any movement. Every step is labored. <laughs> ndofa amenikuta kama hii watu wanasimama nikapende kwa hivi yeye anafika kelele akanikimbisha kidogo tu yani kama hii nyumba sasa kanirushia ndani ya mguri akanifuata kwa mko hivi fitu ya tumbo ndio the elephant ripped into her stomach chest and eye she is lucky to be alive the elephant convinced that it had done enough damage on her retreated as she lay down in pain, hoping for any kind of help, a head's boy is all it took to save her. Jennifer stayed in hospital for seven months. Many residents of this region, just like Jennifer, keep on hoping for a lasting solution, a solution that will keep the elephants in the conservancies. And the electric fence previously a solution is now rendered useless. Residents say the elephants have devised a way of knocking down the poles keen to avoid the fence, an intelligence that even mystifies locals. Moja ilikibia ikasimama pale mimi nikiwa kwa mlango ikashukua mkono juu hivi ikaanza kupiga pilibi mimi nikaikemea nikamwambia wewe shidwe katika jina la Yesu mimi si, si wewe nilipadia hii madisi na mamiwa ni ya watoto yangu sasa mtu anashika nini yake mamiwa yake hivi na mkono anangoa ingine anangoa ingine kuamka nikapata hapa hakuna kitu like for many families in this area, it's always a gamble for the Njorogas every time they sow a seed into their ground, each time hoping for a harvest. It's not always the case. They've been praying for change. And yes, change is coming. We have a short design of fence, not a tall design of fence. So it's the elephants can't get leverage on a high post. It's very short. It's got something called outriggers, which are wires pointing outwards and upwards and that means that the elephants can't get to the posts so it hits the soft tissue in their chest and it's a much more effective fence design. We haven't actually had this fence design breached by an elephant in four years in Lycipia. The fence, 163 kilometers long, is a first project launched by the funds pledged at the inaugural Jans Club Summit hosted by President Uhuru Kenyatta six weeks ago. The construction will run for two years, beginning this week, covering a vast part of Laikipia West. Smallholder farmers in this area can't support elephant conservation if they are losing crops to elephants during the season. The fencing is a joint venture by Space for Giants, the British Army Training Unit in Kenya, the Leopardess Foundation, as well as the Laikipia County Government, which bears the responsibility to have the community involved in the maintenance of the new fence. As much as the stakeholders will be there, as well as the national and the county government are going to maintain the fence, but there is a major role from the community uh, to maintain the fence. But as they look to protect the farmers' fields, survivors like Jennifer Nasuswa, who now is unable to cater to her children's school fees, will have to wait longer for compensation. In the 2016-2017 financial year budget, only 235 million shillings out of 1 billion shillings requested by the ministry in charge was allocated for compensation. Because of the shortfall in terms of funding, we decided that we would first look at the most serious cases of all, which is loss of life. So this is what now we have been doing. And in a number of counties, we've been able to pay the families, each family five million shillings. With this new fence, residents of West Laikipia are hopeful that they soon will stop being part of the statistics in the growing human-wildlife conflict. Esther Kahombi Makori, Sunday Live.